Today we will explore some of the outfits for performing. Hello my beautiful subscribers, Rasa the Dancer is here and of course due to your request I will be showing you some of my performing dresses. Some very old, some might be new. So today I'm going to show you three of them because I have loads. And then afterwards, I will make another video if you enjoy this one and I will show you so many more. I will explain when I used it. I will tell you whether I would use it again and I will explain what works, what doesn't. So hopefully you will have a little bit of better understanding about my performance life and maybe it will help you if you're trying to perform and keep in mind, maybe you'll get some sort of ideas. Anywho, without further ado, I'm going to start introducing you to my dresses. Alright, so my dress number one is the very first salsa show I have ever done. And it was for an amateur competition, which we won. <laughs> so this is a very lucky dress. So I would never wear it again. <laughs> my first ever show for salsa has been... And many moons ago, many decades ago. So I would not wear it again. Of course, we have some print, we have some bling, we have ruffles, we have, um, there's a lot going on here. And of course, I would never wear it again. Um, we have a beautiful back situation going on. I actually really like it. I think in general, it looks nice on me, but the length as well, I would never wear it. Uh, this kind of, you know, fringe, it's all guys, yes? However, one thing that um, I will never forget about this dress, besides the fact that I won the amateur championship, um, is the fact that I got this dress because I had no money to make one. I was extremely poor back then and I had no money at all. So my mother, uh, she found this dress and she sent it to me from Lithuania and it was really, really cheap. It was now, it would be like one or two pounds. So she posted it. So maybe there was one or two pounds extra and I had a dress. So I was very proud and, and I felt really beautiful and clearly it's been lucky for me. So I'm not gonna throw it away, but I will not wear it again. All right, dress number two, uh, we have gold. And as you can see, I, I like gold. <laughs> But this dress, I loved. This was, I was so proud with it and sexy and I felt all kinds of things. But again, it's been a really long time ago, but I bought this dress actually in the movie where I was featured called Cuban Fury. If you haven't seen that movie, it's hilarious. It's a comedy and it has a lot of dancing in it. So check it out, Cuban Fury. But I was wearing one of these dresses, this one, and then there was a feather one dress as well for the Cuban Fury. So I was very pleased. Now, forgive me, I'm wearing black underwear because I used to have an underwear that matches this, but I can't find it. So I'm wearing black underwear. It's not supposed to be like that, but I want to show you the sides. So the sides are completely naked. So you can imagine I was wearing this very, very small little string underwear that matched the sequence but everything else here on the side look naked. And again, it's been like 10 years or something, uh, a long time ago since I wore it, but I think that kind of dress is super nice. Now, these days, I would actually make the dress the same, but not sequency. You know, this is not um, anymore very uh, fashionable and it was made by my mother's friend. Again, saving costs. <laughs> but I would definitely wear a dress like this in terms of having a little bit like of naked here and the dress is kind of a little bit like a bag. I think it looks really, really nice. And especially for somebody like me, I am a little bit towards the skinny side. So I, uh, I think baggy things look cool on me. So sequins, I wouldn't wear it again, but idea for another show dress Definitely, I say yay. Okay, and final dress for today, not gold anymore, it's silver. And it is also probably one of the biggest mistakes, like ever. It's tragic. <laughs> Listen, this 
was again a very long time ago, and it's it's to be honest, the, if if you now I like the I like this part, and if this black would be a bit higher rather than I have this long silver thing, and then the black just drops in the end. I think it could be salvageable. Now there was another problem because back then this was still cool, uh, but uh, there was another problem. This. This is too high, so the dress, it kept coming up. This, it was supposed to be cut much lower, so then the dress would just stay there a little bit more. And this cut a bit lower, so again it would stay, and now here we kept pulling up, and the dress keep going up, and I felt really uncomfortable doing a little bit more, you know, things. And this is something you could learn from me, like try to really think about, you know, don't just give yourself cuts. Think about every cut actually will pull or drag something. So you have to think about what actually you want and what you need underneath for it not to ride up. Anyway, but yeah, this is the silver underneath and you have the black on top and you have macarena here. So this is, uh, as I said, this is a mistake. Voila. But I, I said I'm going to show you all my outfits. Well, this was one of them. I performed in it salsa once. You asked me to show you the dresses and I have showed you three today and I have so many more. So now in the comments, it's all up to you if you'd like to see some more. I have some beautiful ones and some not so much. So I'm willing to demonstrate to you if you want, but leave a comment saying, yes, please make more videos with your dresses. All right, and now for now, I'm gonna leave you with other videos where I actually give you some advice on what to wear and what not to wear. So check those out, and of course, subscribe to the channel and show me some love. And now, I'm gonna go take this off.